You know, it's not that often that a new Mercedes SL comes along. So when I got a chance to get behind the wheel of this SL, I knew that I had to give you a walk around video so you could see what makes this special. Now, if you're a fan of Mercedes, you will understand that this is, of course, one of Mercedes' most iconic, most uh, recognizable cars. And this being the new 2022 AMG, and I will show you, SL63, it is uh, the top of the line SL. Now, back in the 50s, Mercedes, of course, came out with the car that has become iconic over the years. That would be the very first SL. You may know it as the Gullwing. And then a few years later, they came out with a convertible. Uh, that car also became iconic. Of course, those cars are worth millions of dollars nowadays, but this is the newest version of it. And this is the, well, top of the line version of the new SL. And there are a lot of changes for 2022. So in this video, I'm not gonna show you everything that is fun and cool and interesting about this car, but we'll talk about how Mercedes has improved it. And lest you think that Mercedes went all electric, well, you'd be wrong. Because as you can tell by those four massive, one, two, three, four, and of course the real AMG exhaust, this car has a traditional V8 under the hood. This video is brought to you by manscaped.com. You know, I love Manscaped because they give you tools, solutions for the three odor zones, the body, butt, and balls. They just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof electric trimmer. And now you can get it with the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase their new performance package 4.0 bundle. This is an all-in-one kit that includes all the tools to perfect your body grooming experience from your morning shower to late night, be ready for anything moments. After your shower, be sure to apply Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, a quick absorbing, clear drying moisturizer lotion for all day protection. For that midday refresher, be sure to pack your Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera and anti-inflammatory properties. The new Performance Package 4.0 bundle now includes their new Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. For a limited time, you can get two free gifts, the Shed, travel bag, and the Manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs. Don't wait until next year. Go to manscaped.com and use my promo code FASTLANECAR to get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts. Join the Manscaped movement today. The Performance Package 4.0, it says it all. Your body and balls will thank you. Yep, it's a four liter V8. So let's start with that. Uh, produces about 577 horsepower, which is, you know, a significant amount. Uh, and it's a twin turbo. Uh, and it will compel this car to a top speed of, get this, 196 miles an hour. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. Oh, by the way, here's a kind of a cool color in case you're wondering you know, what, what they look like. That's a kind of a fun color. 196 miles an hour, like I was saying, uh, and zero to 60 in about three and a half seconds. Uh, and the reason that the car is so quick is not just because it's got this very big AMG under the hood, AMG built motor. You can see who did it there. Of course, they're handcrafted. And I think it's uh, Mr. Gruber. I think that's right, Mr. Gruber built this engine. Um, but what makes it especially quick is that for the first time ever in an SL, you've got all wheel drive, four matic in fact. So now, instead of just the rear wheels pushing the car, you've got all four wheels clawing at the pavement as it accelerates from zero to 60, according to Mercedes, in about three and a half seconds, 3.6 seconds. Now, of course, the SL has always been known for one thing, and that is uh, being a convertible. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show it to you with the uh, top up so you can kind of get the profile, see what it looks like. Here, let me zoom out. There you go. Uh, but let me uh, go inside and take the top down, and then you can see what it looks like with the top down. Uh, because it is really stunning. 
when you take the top down on this car. So let's uh, start it up. Of course, push button start. Close the door. Uh, and you'll notice, of course, this big screen. And we'll talk about that in a second. But let me show you uh, how you, in fact, open up the top. Give you a little wider zoom here. Uh, so the way you do it is, of course, you, you hit this. And then uh, hit it again. Come on. Come on, MBUXA. There it goes. And then you slide this over to the open position. And then the little winglets, as you can see, open up in the back and the top comes down. Let me show you. Oops, sorry, I let go. Keep going, keep going top. There you go. And then those little winglets will fold themselves in. And soft top operation is complete. Now Mercedes says that that takes 15 seconds and can be done up to 37 miles an hour. Um, so let's turn the engine off and let's show you what the car looks like with the top down because I do hey, think it's stunning. Yes, I will remember my phone car. <laughs> so here we go. Here's another shot of the car with the top down and I think that looks uh, much sexier. Now, if you've been paying attention, you may have also noticed something else which is interesting, and that is back here. Look at that. Yeah, little baby seats. Yep, of course, a wing, a little wind deflector. Uh, but now, and not for the first time ever, but for a long time, of course, the SL has been a two seater. But now, because uh, Mercedes says that it's trying to compete with cars like the Porsche 911 turbo cabriolet we've got actually rear seats uh, in the back and of course uh, as with most roadsters uh, these seats are more for people who are well, let's say under the age of 10 uh, it's you know it's for insurance reasons it's for practicality reasons like you can stick your stuff back there like a backpack but certainly you know with my seating position uh, it'd be tough to get back there. Uh, and if you're wondering what the internal designation for this Mercedes is, it's the R232. Uh, the previous generation was the R231, uh, and the R stands for Roadster, and the 232, well, that's Mercedes' internal designation for what this car is. Now, sharp-eyed viewers will have noticed these spectacular brakes. Uh, those are, of course, carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, you can also get regular brakes, uh, but this top-of-the-line model comes with the carbon ceramics. Uh, and while pricing is not out yet, I suspect that's going to be a pretty expensive option. And when you have a car that does 196 miles an hour at the soft top, you actually may want carbon ceramic brakes, especially if you live in places like Germany, where you can take this thing to its top speed. Um, then there's, of course, the little spoiler that deploys right there. Uh, and then I'll show you the size of the trunk in case you're curious how much room. Let's pop it open. Hold it. Come on. There it goes. Of course, it's electric. And actually, it's uh, quite a bit of room. So you can see that you could easily get probably uh, two bags of golf clubs in here. Certainly like a roller board. Uh, quite roomy for a convertible, especially the soft top, which takes up a lot of room now. If you know the previous generation, you will be aware that the last generation was a hard top. Uh, and Mercedes said the reason they went to a soft top is they wanted to make this light. Uh, and it saved a whole bunch of weight by going away from the hard top and sticking with the soft top. I also think that hard tops right now are out of fashion. Uh, and so soft tops are the way that, that, that uh, designers now, of course, design their convertibles uh, very aggressive front grille uh, it does have active aero shutters in the front here to direct air wherever it needs to go when you're flying along the road of course this is a mercedes so it comes with a full suite of safety features now um, this is another design trait that's become very popular of course tesla started this i think um, with the pop-out door handles uh, but Mercedes now has them. Now let's kind of take a walk through the inside of the car uh, and show you everything in here. Now this being the AMG version, and there are two models. There's of course a 63, which this is, and there's also a 55, which is same engine, but not quite as powerful. Um, so let me zoom 
in a little bit so I don't have as much sun glare. Let me start her up. And I'm gonna get a lot of uh, notices. Uh, they have gone to more of a haptic control, so like the volume knob now is gone. You used to have like a little rotary knob, uh, and that's replaced by a slider here, and of course a slider right there. Uh, and if you're familiar with Mercedes, you'll know that it has not only individual settings for everything from driving mode. So here I'm going to switch it from comfort to sport. You can see to sport plus to Paul's favorite race race. I, I suspect that turns everything off and makes this car very quick. And, and if you're listening carefully, you can also hear that you can change the exhaust note when you do that. Uh, so that does change around. Uh, the way the car sounds uh, and of course here you've got another selectable switch which lets, lets you like i said change the sport mode um, suspension so it firms it up change the exhaust note um, kind of toggle through these little switches i just changed the exhaust note there i just changed the suspension to sports plus so you can individualize it to your uh test to your uh perfect uh, and exemplary um position now uh phone charger in here uh cup holders uh usb the usual stuff um it says that the top is not fully closed let me make sure it's fully open all right soft top in operation there we go now it's happy uh, over here you can tell with my hand you can tell you've got your individualized settings so engine is a moderate i think i'm in comfort mode right now uh Basically, you can see everything, well, if you can focus on it, you can see everything that um, you can customize your own specifications. Um, and then there are things like uh, the air scarf down here uh, and the heated seats right there, which I love. Uh, the air scarf blows hot air from this little grill onto the back of your neck. So when you're on a chilly day like today, where it's 64 degrees, uh, you can convertible in comfort heated seats of course to help you uh, stay nice and warm uh, and uh, it's just a very pleasant experience to have all this warmth come from you not just from the air coming out of the little fans here by the way I, these little vents by the way I love these little vents there's a really satisfying click let me let me see if you can hear it Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good click. That is a good click, as Tommy would say. Um, and then you've got everything from uh, your basic comfort settings. So if you're familiar with MBUX, this is their infotainment system, then you will certainly be familiar with how this works. One of the cool features of this uh, that's unique uh, to the convertible, of course, in the SL is this thing right here. So watch what you can do. You can change the angle of the display. So that like when the sun is in the display it raises and lowers so that you're not getting the solar glare it's pretty cool i could play with that all day yeah look at that that is uh that is pretty cool i've never seen that before uh, it's one of those features that you know that makes for an interesting headline uh and if i were smarter i could come up with an interesting headline for it right now but uh it's certainly unique to this car so let's kind of go home and then of course you've got your usual settings for comfort for performance uh, radio race mode uh, this is a performance car as you can tell by the size of those brakes uh, and of course you've got you know carbon fiber here uh, you've got your burmeister audio system and i just love the look of that burmeister grill i mean look at that that is just oh my gosh that that in itself is art uh, just the way that the graphically uh those intersecting lines come together just a very beautiful car now i suppose i i should just for your entertainment uh try to sit in the back seat so i will do just that just a minute you've forgotten your phone no uh, that's that's not my phone mercedes sorry that's somebody else's phone but let me uh, move the seat actually i think i think you don't even have to do it that way i think I, all i have to do is do it this way just pull this back and the seat will actually do its thing and I will try to sit in the back um, well maybe I can't sit in the back because I've got this wind deflector that I, I have to remove um, well maybe I can just push it aside for a second uh, and see if I can sit I'll just remove it I'll just remove it and we'll
we'll try to sit in the back. Why not? Let's give it a shot. There we go. Very, very simple to use. Easily removable. Let's see what it's like to sit in the back of the new SL. All right, here we go. All right. Should I? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So obviously, um, uh, bolt upright and uh, yeah, I don't fit. Now keep in mind I am 6'2", uh, but I don't think it matters if you're 4'2 or 5'2". I think this is really uh, more for, like I said, insurance purposes, making it a 2 plus 2 uh, as opposed to for real practicality purposes. But I do like the fact that those seats are back there. I think it makes, uh, like I said, for a great storage situation that uh, makes it a lot easier to you know throw in a bag or throw in golf clubs if you have a second set of golf clubs anyway um there you have it just a little walk around of the new mercedes sl uh, this car will go on sale uh middle of next year so we're looking at sometime you know middle of 2022 uh in terms of pricing it has not yet been released uh, but time will tell uh, and if you're wondering about how it drives uh, uh that information is embargoed for now and the reason that manufacturers do these embargoes is to give the journalists all around the world a chance to bring out their stories at the same time uh, so we will have another video next year where we'll actually talk about what it drives like. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to give you a walk around. I wanted to give you a first look to show you this new car. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, R232. Uh, it's a cool number. I think Mercedes certainly, and in, in, you can see it by yourself in their design language and their performance aspirations by going to um, all wheel drive. Oh, and I forgot by going to rear wheel steering. Now, um, uh, this wheels can steer either let me show you uh, that would be in phase if the front wheels are turning right or out of phase uh, if the front wheels are turning right uh, giving you better handling out on the uh, canyons or if you're parking it giving you a smaller turning radius so yeah so we have rear wheel steering i believe it's up to 2.5 degrees of turn from the rear wheels um and like I say, Mercedes has gone after more of a sporty car, and uh, especially the AMG version, and especially this one, than the Grand Tour. Because let's face it, the last generation, the R231, was more of a Grand Tour. It was more of a car for, you know, gobbling up lots of miles quickly, as opposed to carving canyons. Uh, and you'll have to wait and see when we actually can talk about how it drives to see if it actually does car canyons. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for taking a look with me and joining me for this early uh, look, first look at the brand new Mercedes-Benz SL. See you guys next time. Ciao.